I thought I'd do a review of this past weekend's title defence uh, by Vladimir Klitschko against um, Jean-Marc Mormek in Germany. Uh, as I expected, it wasn't much of a uh, defence. Uh, Jean-Marc Mormek didn't do anything, quite literally, um, which I expected anyway. Um, I've no idea how he even got a title shot, and I don't know what, what he's doing at heavyweight. He's 40 years old, I think just about, and um, he, he hasn't done anything at cruiserweight for about five years, so I don't know what he's doing at heavyweight. But I don't think that should detract from how good Vladimir Klitschko is, though, because I know a lot of people criticise the Klitschko brothers, but um, the truth is they do fight the best fighters available, I have done for about a decade and um, whether you like them or not the fact is they have been good um, heavyweight champions of a you know fairly poor era but plenty of um, heavyweight fighters of the past have fought you know so-called bums or whatever you want to call it um, lots of fighters have fought their way um, through some very simple opposition but of course they had um, some really great fights to make up for that obviously that's why they're at the um, higher echelons of the heavyweight um, you know ratings of all time um, but Vladimir Klitschko back to him um, I still think he's got plenty of more fights out there before he retires he's only well he's 35 which is fairly young I suppose for a heavyweight nowadays he's still got a few more fights left i think he should stick around for another two uh, maybe one or two years probably about another four or five fights he mentioned after his win over mormick that um he was thinking of uh, fighting he's probably going to fight mandatory tony thompson next which isn't a great fight but it isn't bad either i mean he's coming off i think a five or six fight um, winning streak but again, I don't think Tony Thompson should be getting the title shot either. But Tony Thompson and Jean-Marc Mormek are two um, isolated cases because Vladimir Klitschko has fought some good fighters in recent years like David Hay, Razlan Shagaev, um, the first Tony Thompson fight, which was a good fight in my opinion. Um, and it, after his win over Mormek, he mentioned fighting guys like, uh, in the future, like Seth Mitchell, David Price, Tyson Fury, in the future. Next up would be T Thompson, and he also spoke of fighting Chris Ariola. So this year sounds like he's got planned out. Um, and then maybe next year, I think Tyson Fury, um, David Price and Seth Mitchell probably need another two years before they challenge for a title so maybe one of those could be his final you know retirement fight um but you know like i say to everyone the fact of the matter is um no matter how boring you think the klitschkos are if they were your nationality they would be the biggest sports star in the country they would be the tiger woods of that country they would be the if they were American, they would be the Tiger Woods of America. Whether Americans want to admit that or not is totally irrelevant because it's a fact. If they were British, they would be bigger than Henry Cooper, bigger than Lennox Lewis, bigger than Frank Bruno, bigger than everyone. They are dominant heavyweights and sports fans who are quite a you know nationalistic breed. Sports fans tend to be quite you know conservative minded towards their sports team or you know preference um in sport and uh, they love success so whichever way you look at it if the klitschkos were the nationality of the person you know uh, of a certain person they would be their biggest fan so i still think they've got some more um fights left and as for vladimir we mentioned the the five fights he mentioned them after after his win over mormek and you can add to that uh dimitrenko pulev um, um uh, Pavetkin. there's plenty but i can't name them all off the top of my head so yeah uh so the fight itself awful title defense awful mormek as a challenger awful but i think there's still plenty more to come this um video has been made with my digital camera which i didn't even know could film videos i only found that out this uh, past weekend so i'm probably going to do my videos from now on on my digital camera and i hope this comes out well because i don't know how to edit so it'll be going out like this okay thanks for watching bye